so hi all today we are going to see the topic antibiotic sensitivity testing so coming to the first introduction first we will see about uh, what is antibiotics so antibiotics are the biochemicals produced by the microorganisms that inhibit the growth of uh, other microorganism or it just kills the growth of microorganism so some of the known antibiotics are penicillins cephalosporins tetracyclines macrolids fluoroquinolones sulfonamides glycopeptides so these are the common antibiotics which will be used in the our daily life and antibiotic sensitivity testing uh, so it is the laboratory procedure to identify which antimicrobial is specifically effective for individual patients so these uh, antibiotic sensitivity testing is also called as antibiotic susceptibility test sensitivity test and antimicrobial susceptibility test and antimicrobial method so it helps to mainly find out which antibiotic is uh, most efficient or effective in treating our uh, any type of infections and it it also be helpful in finding the treatment for antibiotic resistance infections and this antibiotic resistance mainly happens when the standard antibiotics become very less effective or ineffective against certain bacteria it is termed as resistant so coming to the procedures there are mainly two important procedures one is uh, kirby bower disk method and another one is mic and what is kirby bower disk method it is the test which is used to determine which antibiotic is most effective against a certain pathogen and mic it is used to determine the lowest concentration that will be needed to kill the pathogen or microorganism at the site of infection so kirby bower's disk method it is also called as agar diffusion method or disk diffusion method so first a filter uh, that is uh, dipped with antibiotic solution is applied to the surface of agar plate so that agar plate is containing the organism which is going to be tested either the organism can be of gram positive or gram negative whatever that is uh, we needed we just swab that organisms in the agar plate and the filter antibiotic disk was uh, impregnated in that plate and the plate is wrapped and it is incubated at 37 degrees celsius for uh, uh, 1 to 2 days as the substance uh, that is antibiotic substance diffuses into the agar and the concentration decreases as a function of the square of the distance of diffusion so after the incubation a particular distance from each disk uh, we have noticed the zone of inhibition so the effectiveness of that uh, particular antibiotic is shown by the presence of growth or zone of inhibition and it appears as clear area surrounding the disk and the diameter of the zone of inhibition is measured with a scale or ruler so this is the procedure uh, we want to obtain two plates uh, or cultures of e coli and staphylococcus aureus and uh, take a cotton swab or to cotton buds and dip into the either uh, bacterial culture and the uh, streak one of the plates with the swab of uh, e coli culture and another plate with thesaurus culture so those swabs uh, is streaked in the form of a uniform growth pattern and we have to rotate the plate 90 degrees and 45 degrees using this same same swab and streak the plate again and uh, allow the plate for 2 to 5 minutes and uh, using the sterile forceps uh, we want to aseptically remove the antibiotic disk uh, from the dispenser and placed in each plates either uh, four or three or uh, two as per our wish and uh, apart from the antibiotics we have to place the control for our reference so those antibiotics which will be used uh, gentamicin tetracycline penicillin chloramphenicol ampicillin erythromycin whatever the antibiotics which we are going to tested want to fix that antibiotic disk in the agar plate and the plate was incubated for one or two days 
and after the one or two days we want to record the results by measuring the diameter of zone of inhibition so this is the procedure where sterile nutrient agar was added and the organism has to be swabbed and the antibiotic disc was uh, diffused in the plate and incubation and after the incubation we have observed the zone when no zone of inhibition is observed in that plate that organism is resistant to that particular antimicrobial agent and where large zone was observed in that plate we need to understand that organism is sensitive to that antimicrobial agent so this is the result which will be obtained after the 24 hours incubation here uh, one clear zone is arised that is a zone of inhibition is surrounding the antibiotic disc indicating the sensitivity and here uh, no zone is uh, arised in this plate so this uh, indicates the uh, resistance of the bacteria so the bacteria is resistance to that uh, particular antibiotic disc so this is the clear procedure of kirby bower disc method thank you